it. What's up, what's up, man? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hyrus Reacts. It is I, MOE713. We're back with another episode. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification sign so I can be notified on my future, future uploads, guys. Very much appreciated, man. But anyway, let's get straight to this uh, today's episode, bro. Uh, once again, y'all came in clutch. Y'all sent me a bunch of different uh, news stories, some disturbing ones. And uh, we're just going to give you a what's up today, man. All the BS has uh, this recently going on this week all right i mean let's get started with the first uh topic bro i mean the justice system is is pretty pretty out of whack and we already know this but it just shows how mess up it is bro now i don't know if y'all heard about the story bro but a little young child bro he got shot by one of his neighbors but well, let me play the news article so you can get like a whole gist of the situation it's all on video saturday afternoon on candlewood lane you'll see kids playing hear a gunshot then kobe realizes he's hit <laughs> Lee Wen allegedly fired through his front window. The bullet went in Kobe's arm and out the other side. Did it hurt? Did it hurt? <laughs> yes. Can you point to it? Show us where it's at. Right now, he's not even processing exactly what happened you know he don't realize how close he came to not being here um but i realize it bro this dude needs to be locked up this is attempted murder bro he did not know where that bullet was going thank god bro that this bullet just went into his arm and it came out he tried to kill a, a six-year-old bro he tried to murder a six-year-old and th this is what happens and i'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kid. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son Kobe. He's apparently had issues with neighbors in the past, and this time Dad Arnold suspects Lee Wen was mad Kobe's bike was in his yard. I'm irate, right, really. I mean, I can't. I can't function and I don't know what to do. A Washtenaw County judge gave him a $10,000 cash bond, which he made Tuesday. This is him walking out, picked up by family. The prosecutor's office shocked at the low bond. They're filing an emergency motion to get it changed. A judge's order not to return home, but it's a piece of paper, says Arnold. I'm scared for my family, you know, but I, I'm scared for them because I don't know what he's capable of. $10,000 bond? On an attempted murder? How? I couldn't believe this, bro. I mean, this, this is something messed up. I mean, trying to cause outrage at this point. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. The only thing that makes sense is the, the media, you know, and the court systems. They're just trying to bring more uh, more chaos. They're trying to outrage the people, bro. They're trying to, I mean, just recently there was an anti-racism for Asian hate crime. And now this Asian dude... <laughs> gets off of a 10,000 for ten thousand dollars to try to murder a six-year-old bro it doesn't make any sense i mean my only explanation is that they're trying to do a psyop bro they make this injustice to get a reaction out of the people bro i mean it doesn't make any fucking sense how is this dude gonna get away with shooting a little kid i mean guys justify the situation bro it don't make no sense this dude should be in jail bro fuck that fuck that I don't give a fuck, bro. It's just, it pissed me off. But maybe this this is the exact same reason why they, they laid him off so easily. To get outraged, bro. At the end of the day, some weird, weird, weird stuff going on right now. He should have got at least a $150,000 bail or something like that. But ten grand, bro. $10,000, that's that's nothing. Bro. This is not no fucking justice, bro. But anyway, uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, next topic, bro. Next topic. I don't know if y'all heard about this. Once again, they're trying to indoctrinate your kids. Once again, Nickelodeon is on that BS. Uh, no surprise there, but uh, let, let's see. Let's see this real quick. All right, it says Nickelodeon pushes pro queer, pro trans song for kids, sung by drag queen, and it's a stark reminder that we are living in a very dark times. All right, true that. Now, this is dude again. What's again? This fucking I forgot this this guy's name, bro. He's out here trying to promotion for kids. All right, Children's TV Network Nickelodeon is pulling out all the pro LGBTQ stops for Pride Month, and the latest example is a video for kids that normalizes queer and trans people. And it's performed by drag queen Nina West. I mean, we talked about this dude. They're still pushing it, guys. Nickelodeon is is on that shit. 
All right, so this is the new Nick Jr. Nickelodeon uh, song that uh, they keep on pushing for little kids. We're going to browse through it and see what, what's really going on. It's pride, everybody. Please Every shoot. color on the pride flag. And wave the pride flag up high. Be true to you. Blue means harmony, working together. Black and brown represent the queer and trans people of color. Showing who you are. Yeah. All right. All right. That's enough, bro. I mean, they just keep pushing this bullshit, bro. I mean, when, when is it going to end? They're trying to indoctrinate your kids. This is on Nick Jr. At the end of the day, guys, just watch what your kids watch, bro. I mean, they're putting out this BS. And all these organizations, even news networks are putting those pride, you know, the, the rainbow flags on, on their profile pictures. This year, they're pushing it way, way too far, bro. Wait, they're pushing it way, way too far. I mean, especially now in school, bro. In school, they're trying to teach your four-year-olds how to pleasure themselves at four years old. This is just, it's, it's, it's twisted, bro. You have to protect your kids at all costs at this point, bro, because they're out here, bro. The devil is alive, bro. They're out here trying to uh, brainwash your kids. They're really trying to indoctrinate your kids at this point. They're trying to normalize everything at this point. It, it keeps getting sicker and sicker, bro. Yeah, man, but anyway, let's, let's move on to the last topic, bro. We're going to talk about Kamala Harris, bro. Have y'all seen what's been going on with the border? The whole She's been ignoring the border for this longest time. And, you know, I made a video about what's going on at the border, bro. All this child trafficking. They built a whole organized crime ring of child trafficking, bro. Fox and Antonio obtained it from a whistleblower who says it supports their claim that unaccompanied children in San Antonio are being released without proper documentation or following protocol, sometimes to traffickers. They tell us some of the children may be going to people who want to exploit them. In an electronic message sent to workers, an allegation of labor trafficking has been recorded. The subject of the message, flag sponsor. The message hmm. part says, the following person has been flagged for labor trafficking allegations after attempting to sponsor multiple UC or unaccompanied minors at Freeman Coliseum. I mean, because this is like a hub of child trafficking at the border, bro. And this is exactly what Kamala Harris and Joe Biden want, bro. They're undocumented kids, untraceable kids. You know, anybody could just say that they're from a certain organization and uh, they just pick up the litter of the kids and, you know, for all you know, they disappear. You, they're not documented. They don't, and uh, they're, they're just disappearing, bro. I mean, they're even giving them out to coyotes, bro. The ones that, that still owe debts. I mean, I mean, it's a big child sex trafficking ring going on at the border. And this is probably one of the main reasons why Kamala Harris is trying to ignore it. It's because it's making a bunch of money for them. A lot of adrenochrome going on right now on the border. Kamala Harris doesn't want to address or even go to the border to see the, you know, you know all these kids in, in concentration camps and in, in big stadiums, you know, uh, because all they really want is the kids. Can you commit right now that you will indeed visit the U.S.-Mexico border and will you do it soon? Jeremy, let me tell you something. Yes, I will. And I have before. But the reality of it is that we need to prioritize what's happening at the border, and we have to prioritize why people are going to the border. But the vice president is not yet providing dates on a potential visit. Do you plan to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have before, and I'm sure I will again. Madam Vice President, um, there have been questions about why you and President Biden have yet to visit the border, the U.S. southern border. And I'm wondering if you can answer some of those. The reason I am here in Guatemala as my first trip as Vice President of the United States um, is because this is one of our highest priorities. And I came here to be here on the ground to speak with the leader of this nation around what we can do. The administration looking to inject billions of dollars in aid to this region to help reduce that migrant surge. In April, nearly 180,000 migrants were apprehended by U.S. Border Patrol, the highest number in 20 years. And more unaccompanied migrant children come from Guatemala than anywhere else. So how quickly does this change what we see at the border? I don't know that we're going to see if, I, listen, I've been very clear from the beginning. There is, there's not going to be a quick fix. It's going to take time to manifest itself. Will it be worth it? Yes. Will it take some time? Yes. There's one other topic I wanted to uh, talk to you about. But let me just quickly put a button. Okay. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I'm here in Guatemala today. I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. 
So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. I mean, at this point, it's just a joke. It's a joke. Of course, he wants to ignore it. I mean, the kids that are going missing is, is happening at the border. They want to shove everything under the rug. They don't even want to bring it up because if more people investigate what's really going on on the border, I mean, it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you, bro. And the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services separately received tips that allege child abuse and neglect at the federal government's child migrant facility at the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio behind me. Children at this facility are being sexually assaulted. The Biden administration caused this crisis and has repeatedly failed to address it. The Biden administration opened borders. The administration failed to plan for the influx of children that they invited to come. Now they face allegations of despicable child abuse and neglect. At the end of the day, it just makes perfect sense why she doesn't really want to go to the border. It's supplying the demand. It's all evil satanic shit, bro. At the end of the day, some dark shit's going on. But more things to uncover, bro. More things to expose all these evil people. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the whole situation. Y'all think I'm tripping. Uh, once again, if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the bell notification sign. And also, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. It's 713MOE. 713MOE. You have to type it down on Instagram. Go follow me there. And also, if you want to support this channel, keep it moving. Link in the description down below. Oh, and also in the in the comments down below, I will post a link if you want to support the channel. Anyway, yeah, man. Then we for sale on three. We'll see y'all in the next episode. Bam.